All right, I wanna share with you guys a four-star DataViz Pro tip. This is an advanced tip, definitely getting towards the expert end of spectrum. And what we're gonna talk about is how to highlight date ranges using combo charts. And what we're gonna do is use kind of an unusual version of a combo chart to visually highlight specific time periods or date ranges within a line chart. And for this demo, we're gonna be looking at some pretty simple time series data. We've got dates on column A, we've got revenue trended out in column B. And the key here is that we're gonna add a new column, like the one you see here called sale, that essentially flags our key rows or key dates, the ones we wanna highlight with a one. And all other rows in that column, we're either gonna leave blank or drop in a zero. Now from there, we're gonna plug in both the revenue and the sale columns into a new chart. We're gonna set the chart type to combo and configure it so that our sale column is plotted as a 100% stacked column on the secondary axis. Now with a little bit of formatting tweaks to get rid of the gap width, we'll end up with something that looks like this. And it's a really nice, clean and polished way to draw attention to a very specific time frame or span of dates that helps to add context to the numbers that you're seeing. So in this case, the dates that we've highlighted, November 27th through November 30th, represent a very large promotional period, which helps to provide context and explain why we see those very large revenue spikes right at the beginning and end of that time frame. Now, a little extra tip here, if you wanna actually hide the secondary y-axis like you see in the screenshot, what you can do is apply a custom number format to the axis itself with the three semicolons in a row, which essentially makes that axis and those labels completely invisible. So common use cases, like we're showing here, the most common one is highlighting things like sales or promotional periods to help add that extra context to the numbers shown in the chart. And then also drawing attention to other sort of patterns like seasonality, or certain trends like peak versus off-peak periods, or maybe weekends versus weekdays. These are all great examples of how this tip can come into play. So let's jump into our pro tip workbook and actually practice building one of these combo charts. All right, so for those of you who would like to follow along, we're heading to the highlighting date ranges demo in our visualization tip section. I'm gonna go ahead and link straight out to that tab. And here you'll see our dates and our revenue values in column B. We're looking at a window of two months of time, November and December, 2015. And we've got this line chart showing that revenue trend over time. And right off the bat, you can see some very significant peaks occurring towards the end of November. And I know that that's due to a big promotional sale that this company runs right at this time of the year, every single year. It's the Black Friday, Cyber Monday promotion. So what I'd like to do is add a bit more context to this chart to help tell that story to our end users. So we're gonna start by inserting a new column right here to the left of C. I'm gonna call it promo, name it anything you want, doesn't really matter. And the key is to navigate to those rows containing the dates that we wanna highlight. And in this case, the promotion or the sale started on the 26th so I'm gonna add a one or a flag there, uh, format it as currency, that doesn't really matter, but we can go ahead and format these cells, change it to general or number. And basically this sale is gonna extend from the 26th all the way through December 1st. So it's a six day promotion from the 26th to the 1st. And like we talked about, we can leave these other rows totally blank. We could populate with zero if we wanted to, but this is just fine for now. And what we're gonna do here is right click our chart and we're gonna select the data because we need to add a new series in here. And the series name is promo, the series values, are basically all of these values, including the blanks right here in column C, all the way down to row 62. Let's go ahead and lock that in, press okay, and okay once more. And now it'll look, uh, kind of useless right now because it plotted it on the same primary axis as another little line segment here, which isn't very helpful. So we need to navigate to chart tools, change chart type, 
And here's where we're going to configure those combo chart settings to get this to look the way we want it to. And what we're going to do, it's kind of taken a stab at it, which is actually reversed. We want our revenue to remain a line and we want our promo to be a 100% stacked column right here on the top right. And the key is to check this secondary axis box. And that's all we need to do for configuration in this dialog box. So we're going to press OK. Still looks a little bit weird, but we're getting close. Now we can select that promo series. We can format it. And we can remove that gap width to pull those columns all the way together into a solid rectangle. And from here, we can jump to our fill and line tools, give it a solid fill, whatever color you want. I'm going to do kind of a yellow here and give it some transparency. I want it to be subtle, but noticeable enough that it draws the eye and it really draws attention to the specific range of dates that reflect the promo period. So that looks just about fine. Um, you'll notice that I lost the smoothing on that line. Um, so you can just select the line and in the same kind of fill in line settings, just click that smooth line button at the bottom. And there you go. That just about does it. Um, it's a subtle little effect, but it's quite effective at really getting the end user to realize that there's something special about this date range that's highlighted. So kind of a unique tip, but one that I actually use uh, quite a bit. And if we want to take it one step further, you'll notice here that it's added the secondary uh, Y axis here, which is just zero to 100%. And because our values aren't really meaningful, it's just a binary one or zero, or I guess one or blank flag, um, this axis doesn't really mean anything. In fact, it's kind of just distracting. Um, the problem is if we select it and delete it, that deletes the whole series as well. So control Z to undo that. Um, we could shrink it down. We could change it to white font, which is an okay solution. Uh, the version that I like to use or the approach that I like to take is to format that axis, go down to the number category at the very bottom. And instead of percentage, I'm going to choose custom and type in my own format code, which is that triple semicolon and press add. And that just makes the whole axis invisible. It continues to plot the series. It just basically hides that zero to 100 scale um, from view. So that looks pretty good. I'm satisfied with that. You could continue to take this further and add markers or data labels to draw attention to some of these peaks. But for now, I think that'll get the job done. So there you go, kind of a unique way to use combo charts to highlight date ranges within your visualizations.